Welcome to an introductory video on the Nikon D7100. In this video, you'll learn how to set up the tripod, operate the camera, and recommended settings for the best picture. Set the tripod on the ground and open the bag. Undo the straps and remove the tripod. Widen the tripod's legs and place it on the ground. After it's on the ground, pull each of the top leg tabs to adjust the height. You want it to be about eye level, so don't be afraid to make it higher by pulling the second set of tabs. Once you have your tripod where you want it, it's time to remove your camera from the bag. Carefully remove the camera and battery from the bag. Once it's out, place the battery in the camera by opening the chamber on the bottom and inserting the battery until you hear it click. Open the SD card slot located on the left side of the camera. Insert the card taking special care to follow the orientation guidelines. Once you have a battery and an SD card in the camera, take some time and secure the camera to the camera plate. Do this by screwing the plate into the camera and tightening it with a coin. The plate allows the camera to secure to the tripod. Adjust the slide to allow the camera to slide into the tripod. Make sure the camera is towards the front of the slide and not in the way of the adjustments. Tighten the slide lock once it's in. The camera should be secure, so make sure it won't move by lifting the tripod by the camera. Now that the camera is secure, you need to know how to move it around. To tilt and pan the camera, you must first loosen the handle and adjust it to your liking. Next, loosen the pan and grab adjustments on the side of the tripod. With these loosened, you can achieve smooth, precision movements, like so. Now that you can move the camera, you can check that it's level using the green bubble dial on the side. You'll then want to remove the lens cap. If there's too much sunlight, consider attaching the lens hood like so. The power switch is located here. Make sure your live view is enabled by pressing this button. Once you're in live view, you can use the info button to check if your camera's level. You may have to press the info button several times. To be a true filmmaker, turn this dial to set your camera from auto to manual. When you're in manual, you can adjust the ISO, f-stop, frame rate, white balance, and shutter speed. The ISO adds artificial light to an image and should not be your go-to setting. It's best to keep it below 640 to avoid a grainy picture. Your aperture is measured in f-stops. In order to adjust it, you must put your camera in photo mode and adjust it using the wheel on the front. The f-stop adjusts the level of background blur. Use a lower f-stop for more blur and a higher f-stop for less blur. Next is the frame rate, which you get to in the settings. The frame rate should be about half the shutter speed, in this case, 30. The next setting is your white balance temperature. To change it, hold the button on the bottom left and turn the wheel on the top right. To get the most exact measurements, it helps to put a piece of white paper in front of the lens. Last but not least is your shutter speed, which determines how much light your camera lens lets in. To change it, simply turn this wheel. On the lens, you can zoom in and out by twisting this part. You can then focus the lens with this control here. The stabilization control switch is located here. Remove the zoom mic and make sure it's turned on by flipping the power switch located here. Next, connect the aux cords on the zoom mic to the audio input jack on the side of the camera. If you want to listen to your recordings, then simply connect a pair of headphones to the audio output jack. Once your audio is in, go to your settings and adjust the audio levels. They should be at minus 12. Now that you've set up your camera, it's time to record. To start recording, simply press this button located on top of the camera. Once you're finished, make sure your camera is turned off and the lens cap is on. Remove the camera from the tripod by loosening the same switch you used to get it on. Don't forget to remove your SD card and the battery.
Put the lens hood on backwards and carefully replace your camera in the bag. For the tripod, pull the adjustment tabs and lower it to its shortest position. Loosen the movement handle and tilt it downwards so the top takes up as little room as possible. Then, bring all the legs together and replace it in the bag. Thanks for watching this introductory video on the Nikon D7100. Happy shooting.